city of Phoenix, the police department is down hundreds of officers. There's a new plan now to put more out on patrol, but these will not be new hires. And they're being reassigned from specialty units. The chief says they had to do something about their serious staffing shortages. Kim Powell's live outside Phoenix Police Headquarters. So how will this work, Kim? Yeah, Phoenix police say they're reallocating 108 officers back to street patrols. They say this wasn't an easy decision to make, and they say they hope it's only temporary. Last year, almost 300 Phoenix police officers left the department. When somebody picks up the phone and they call 911, they're having that, that worst day of their life. They have an expectation that a uniformed officer is going to respond. And as we were losing more and more officers from patrol, what it was impacting was our ability to respond to calls for service. Assistant Police Chief Michael Kurtenbach says he worked with specialty units like the Training, Community Engagement, and Property Crimes Bureaus and decided which officers would leave their units to go back to street patrols. The men and women of this department are proud to do what they do. And while it's, a, it's hard, it's, it's not an easy thing to lose your assignment, they recognize the mission. And the mission is to serve the residents of the city of Phoenix. So by and large, they, they took it well, understanding that it's a big change for many of them. Kurtenbach says for the detectives still on their specialty assignments, their caseloads may get bigger. We would hope that that wouldn't have a negative impact on our community, the victims of crime. But the reality is there's going to be more work for those detectives. Phoenix City Councilman Sal DeCicio says the department's response to the staffing shortage is proof they're in crisis mode. I understand what the chief is doing. She was given a bad card, set of cards by the politicians, and she's doing the best that she can. But this is a crisis mode. It's a number one issue we're facing in the city of Phoenix, and it's not going to go away quickly. In a statement, Phoenix Law Enforcement Association says in part, as the fifth largest city in the nation and growing, the Phoenix City Council has consistently failed to adequately fund and resource the Phoenix Police Department. Plea goes on to say the city of Phoenix needs to focus on strategies to recruit and retain police officers immediately and make sure the Phoenix Police Department is properly funded to protect the community. Again, Phoenix Police hopes these officers can go back to their specialty assignments eventually, but it all depends on their ability to recruit. For now, reporting live in downtown Phoenix, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.